beautiful friends my name is Denise Nicole and we are here again in my kitchen for another historical cooking recipe so alligator pear when you think of that you think of alligator meat right like razoos fried alligator hot sauce cayenne pepper no <laughs> alligator pear is actually another word for avocados because an avocado skin looks like alligator skin so they call these things alligator pears isn't that crazy that's why the whole idea of this recipe jumped out at me because I was like what in the world is an alligator pear and how am I gonna go get alligator meat and where am I gonna get it from <laughs> uh, there are two recipes I'm gonna read from one book and then I think I have another one from another book so alligator pear salad take Take ripe alligator pears, halve and core them, pour over dressing of one third vinegar, two thirds olive oil, and a little chopped red pepper and shallots. Garnish with slices of grapefruit. That was one recipe. Now here is the second version of alligator pear um, salad, and this is the Southern style. So it says cut pears in half, Scoop them out and mix with slices of with sliced grapefruit. Replace and serve with French dressing. Now the whole idea of French dressing got me wondering what was the Victorian version of French dressing. I did a little investigating, a little hunting, a little digging, and found out that French dressing is not the orange goopy dressing that you find at Walmart. Uh, the original version of French dressing is more like a vinaigrette. So let me read the instructions or the ingredients. Um, this recipe comes from a book called The Boston Cooking School Cookbook by Fanny Merritt Farmer, written in 1896. French dressing. One half teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, two tablespoons of vinegar, four tablespoons of olive oil. Mix ingredients and stir until well blended. French dressing is more easily prepared and largely used than any other dressing. And there's also some notes about French dressing. And it says that many a vintage food enthusiast has been tripped up by this confusion. Basically the confusion of what French dressing is. Um, but it is our use of the term that has changed and not the dressing. So we're gonna make French dressing and alligator pear salad, Victorian style. Let's go. The recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. That's just regular table salt. Half a, a one fourth teaspoon of pepper. That's regular black pepper. Two tablespoons of vinegar. And four tablespoons of olive oil. Now that I've got my vinaigrette in my bowl, I'm going to mix it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut these in half. Cut these good old alligator pears in half. I'm so surprised I didn't make the connection until today of what an alligator pear really was. Here's that old trick. Let's see if I can do it without hurting myself. Okay, it's not working. It didn't work. And it says cut them in half, scoop out the mix, scoop out and mix with salad. So it doesn't specify whether I'm supposed to mush it up, whether I'm supposed to just keep it in little slices. I do not know. I mean, I guess I'm supposed to cut it. Let's try that. going to scoop it out and I think I'll just scoop it out into this bowl because this is our French dressing. 
scoop it out into the bowl and not get vinaigrette, French vinegar dressing, French dressing on my clothes. <laughs> my trash bowl here and so it says for us to mix with grapefruit so what I'm doing now is I am just slicing up this grapefruit to go with our alligator pear and our French dressing I chilled my grapefruit and I also chilled the alligator pears And now I'm just going to toss the uh, grapefruit in the container with, in the bowl with the alligator pears and the dressing. Now I don't have shallots. The, the regular version calls for shallots. I don't have any shallots. Um, so we'll just skip the shallots, but let me go ahead and mix this together. It's mixed. It would probably be just as well to mash it either way. So I'm going to separate this into two bowls. I've got one bowl that's just going to be a regular batch. This is my red pepper. The recipe does not specify whether it is red pepper flakes or cayenne pepper. I'm editing this video and I discovered a boo-boo. The recipe calls for chopped red pepper. Um, I interpreted that as cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper flakes. So um, if you'd like to try this with chopped red pepper, which is probably chopped bell pepper, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And I'm assuming that red pepper is red pepper but we never really know with the Victorians. <laughs> I'm separating these into two bowls. One is gonna be without red pepper. The other one is going to be with red pepper. And I think what I'm gonna do is get a third bowl out and we'll do one with no pepper, one with red pepper flakes, one with cayenne pepper. Here's our little experiment here. We've got our red pepper flakes. A little bit of that in there. Not too much, because I don't want to die. <laughs> we got our cayenne pepper. Just gonna put a little bit of that, because I really don't want to die. I like hot pepper, but oh gosh, that's a lot. Okay. We're gonna mix both of those. Mix this one up. Mix this one. This one's probably going to be more spicy. Now, I found a third recipe for alligator pear salad. Um, this recipe says chill three alligator pears. Peel, cut in half, remove stones, cut in cubes, marinate in French dressing, serve on crisp lettuce, and sprinkle with chopped almonds. So that is how we're going to eat our very first alligator pear um, on lettuce with almonds. The second one will just taste those. So here we go. Let's get ready to taste. So this is the one that has no uh, hot spicy pepper. I'm gonna pour that into my bowl. I've got a little bit of regular lettuce and some arugula, and now I've gotta get my pecans to toss over the top. So there goes my pecans. Pecans, pecans, how do you say it, pecans? That looks really, really good. I think it's gonna be really delicious. Well, it smells really good, I can say that much. 
let's taste it now this is the one with no cayenne pepper the pecans smell good I think this is gonna be really good this is something you can make at home for your family that's really good the mixture of the um, grapefruit and let's try some more let me get a bite of um, pecan it's really really good this is something I think my kids would eat mm-hmm It's good. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be good. Who knows? So let's try the red pepper and see how spicy it is. So I'm just gonna pour this over my salad. This is the one with the red pepper flakes. <coughs> I didn't put a whole lot of red pepper flakes, but let's just see if I can taste the, the hot. Mmm. Mmm. I can see where you can go wrong if you put too much um, pepper. But if you just put the right amount of red pepper, it's, it's good. It's good. Let's try the red pepper, uh, cayenne pepper. Here we go. And remember, I accidentally put too much cayenne pepper, so it's probably gonna be kind of spicy, but we'll be all right. We'll make it. All my family's from Louisiana, so I should be able to handle a little bit of cayenne pepper, right? It's good. Even with more cayenne pepper than I wanted to add, it's not spicy. The only thing I do taste is the arugula. Arugula is just so bitter. Ugh. <laughs> but this is really, really delightful. This is really good. It's just different. I would absolutely recommend cooking this with maybe like a meat dish or something. Like I'm proud of this. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna make this for my kids and see if they eat it. I think they will. You let me know if your kids eat it. Thank you guys for staying tuned to this episode of Adventures in Victorian Cooking. My name is Denise Nicole, and I will see you soon then. Bye-bye. Can you guess why they call it alligator pear? Because it looks like an alligator. Oh.